this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Another video inside of Stampy's lovely world, and this is the final day of my half a million subscribers celebration. I've spent six days building, I then put on a massive show on my circus, and so as you might expect, I am now feeling absolutely exhausted. Oh, it's been a very busy week doing a video every single day. I hope you enjoyed it, but I'm a little bit tired now, to be honest. Oh, well, Lee, Lee, are you there? Are you there, buddy? Are you are you awake yet? How are you feeling today? Are you are you a little bit tired as well? You're looking you're looking a little bit sleepy there. I know how you feel. Have you got any 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 cake for me? Another cake? My eighth cake in a row? No cake? Good. I'm full up. I've had too much cake. This is the first time it's ever happened. I've had too much cake. Have you got anything just in a nice little sweet thing to nibble on? Anything? Just anything nice? Oh, there we go. A cookie. That will do. That, that is more than enough. Let me just go and eat this. And oh, God, I think there's room somewhere in my stomach for that. All uh, right, then. What should we do today, then? Do you want to go build something? Do you want to do some, some building, Lee? No, I don't really want to either. Should we just stay at home? Should we just stay in my room and have a lazy day? No, I suppose that would be pretty boring. What should we do then? Should we just go play some games? Should we just go play some games and have some fun? Yeah, let's do that. Let's forget about building and work or anything. Let's just relax and go and play some games for a bit. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's what we can do. <laughs> it is the, uh, the final day of my half a million subscriber celebration and it's been a crazy, crazy week. The circus uh, was uploaded yesterday. Hopefully you all saw that and enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, we've had a whole uh, week doing a video every day and it's been absolutely amazing and uh, it's crazy the fact that well, I am now closer to 600,000 subscribers than I am 500,000 subscribers so once again uh, I thanked you a lot this week but a very big thank you uh, to all of you that have been uh, sticking around my channel for this entire time and supporting me and uh, yeah all of these people in my love garden they have been supporting me and uh, I'm going to be adding uh, someone very uh, important and it's not one person uh, it's actually a whole group of people I'm adding today and I'm actually adding 4J Studios and if you don't know who 4J Studios are they are the people uh, that made the Xbox edition of Minecraft and you might think uh, it's a little bit weird me adding them but to be fair if they didn't make the Xbox edition of Minecraft I would have probably never played Minecraft and my entire lovely world wouldn't exist and you wouldn't be watching this video right now uh, so for that reason I want to say thank you 4J for making the game and uh, supporting it so well and they always reply to any messages I send them and send me codes and stuff so uh, a massive thank you uh, to 4J studios for making all of this possible and welcome to my love garden and uh, it'd be crazy if they did actually watch this video but if you are actually uh, watching this video anyone from 4j i do genuinely mean uh, a very big thank you anyway lee let's go and play some games i thought that uh, seen as I built my golf course absolutely uh, ages ago and uh, it does seem to be a lovely day for golf uh, I thought we could head over to my fun land and have a little spot of golf uh, but I'm going to be doing that uh, with the company of not just Elfily uh, but also uh, the company of a dog and seen as it is uh, the final day of my special week I think I need to take a very special dog and they all turn around as I say a special dog they all turn to look at me and say are you talking about me? Uh, of course I'm taking my oldest dog the leader uh, of the pack that is Barnaby and where where is Barnaby actually? Here he is. He's hiding down here. You can always tell uh, which one's Barnaby because he's the uh, the one with the red collar. Uh, that's the uh, the easiest way to uh, to tell which one's Barnaby. He loves the kind of red. What can I say? <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, let's go head over to the fun land and hopefully uh, get an entire game of golf finished in this day uh, and then uh, we'll have a nap and then in the next day uh, we can maybe go and uh, play some other games in my fun land considering how much time we have. It's going to be a very relaxed uh, chilled out video of us just playing and having some fun and look Lee 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 come over here quick look look in the tree look up there Lee there's a kitty cat there's an actual real kitty cat I've got an ocelot I knew it I knew I'd get an ocelot in my world why is he how is he stuck in the tree? Um, we need, what do we, we need fish, we need fish, is there any fish around here, where's the nearest place that will have fish, oh we need a fishing rod, we need, um, string and sticks, string and sticks Lee, right, I'll go get the string Lee, you go get the sticks, we've got to get the fish, I can't believe that, I knew I'd be able to get an ocelot, uh, since the, uh, the update, uh, you can now get kitty cats, and, uh, yeah, I knew that I did have a jungle biome, but, uh, because I made my world so long ago, uh, yeah, I didn't know, uh, how to, yeah, how to find out where my jungle biome is, but I guess I just found a cat, uh, I need string, I think it's, uh, here we go, here we go, I got some string here, I'll go and make us, I'll make us a couple fishing rods, and then we're going to try and catch as many fish as we can, and uh, you need to use a raw fish to take them, right, forget golf, forget everything that I plan to do, this takes priority, I've been waiting uh, so long to get, I haven't got any wood on me, I've not got any wood on me, have you got any wood, Lee, can, can you go get me some wood, I can't make any fishing 
fishing rods. Uh, is there some? I think there's some in here. Here we go. There's loads of wood in here. I'm going to grab all of this and uh, I'm going to make some sticks. Oh god, hopefully the cat hasn't run away. Hopefully the cat hasn't run away. All right, let's go and make a, a fishing rod for me and a fishing rod for you. There you go, Lee. Right to the to the to the lake. I'm going to go get some fish. Keep an eye on the ocelot and make sure he doesn't run away. You as well, Barnaby. Make sure the cat doesn't try and scarper. They get very very scared. I've got to get my first cat. This is this is exciting. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Right, okay. If I go over here and I go and try and catch uh, as many raw fish as, as we can. They're very similar to dogs, uh, but instead of just running up to them and throwing bones at their face, uh, you need to be a bit more sneaky. You need to crouch and you need to walk very uh, slowly and uh, make sure you don't scare them away. And uh, if they like you, uh, if they like the looks of you, uh, then yeah, they might just become your pet cat rather than uh, just being an ocelot. And come on, fish! Come on, fishing rod, don't let me down now. I'm normally very good at catching fish. Come on, am I going to get one? Come on, fish. All you need to do is wait for the uh, that little bobbing thing to go under the water like that. Oh, no, it's too slow. I was too busy explaining what you got to do and didn't have time to actually get them. There we go. I managed to get my first fish. I'm going to try and get at least two uh, just so in case I don't manage to get it with the first one. Uh, I should be able to get uh, it with the second one because they are actually uh, really tricky to catch. I can't believe that one's wandered just right to the front of my house and gone up to the to the top of a tree. What, what very good luck. <laughs> and I actually did know uh, that I did have jungle biomes because I was very recently... Uh, going on to a, a version of my world uh, which was completely empty. Uh, I basically saved my world before I built anything on it. And uh, to celebrate half a million of uh, subscribers, I am going to be giving that world up for download. Uh, so if you wanted to see what my world looked like before I built it, uh, in the, uh, the description of this video, there's going to be a download link. Uh, so you can download that and wander around my world before I built anything on it. And uh, I've also left uh, a few signs around the place uh, telling you where some certain things are in my house, like uh, in my world, like where my house is and uh, where my fun land is and things like that. And uh, I've also hidden uh, 10 cakes around the world. So uh, maybe you could go uh, with your friends and go on a, a cake quest and try and find uh, all of the uh, the 10 different cakes. Oh, there we go, Lee. Have you got some more fish? I'm not having much luck over here, to be honest. I've been, I've been very patient. There we go. I managed to get another one. We got loads of fish. I think some fell down there, Lee. I got five. I think Lee did a better job than me, right? Hopefully, uh, the cat uh, is still going to be sitting in the tree. Okay, Barnaby, you can wait here for now. I don't want you to, to scare scare him off, seeing as you are a dog. And Lee, you stand back as well, because uh, they can get very scared. Okay, where, where is it? Is it still in the tree? I think it was up in that tree, wasn't it? Oh, it's not gone, has it? It's not disappeared. Can you see it anywhere? Oh, there it is. It's still up there. Oh, it's looking at me. Are you going to come, kitty cat? Would you like some, would you like some fishy fish? Like a, a nice little bit of fishy fish. I don't know if it can get down. I think I'm gonna have to try and make a ladder for it. Okay, let me go and make some wooden planks. Let me go and try and make a, a little staircase for it. Come on, fishy fish. Come on, kitty cat. Here we go, look. Little staircase, little staircase. You can just hop down here and you'll have the tasty fish. Oh, it's just jumped up. Oh, it's running away. It's running away. Stay still, Lee. Don't move. No direct eye contact. You need to wait for the cat to come to you. Oh, where's it going to? I think it wants some melons. I think it's going to the melon moment. Maybe it's a weird cat. Maybe it prefers melons uh, rather than fish. Oh, look, there's a dog over there. Oh, that's Fluffy. I think Fluffy's come out of the uh, the Pick a Pet pet shop to, uh, to come and have a look. Right, I'm going to move very, very slowly and just creep up on the cat and uh, try and get it. Fluffy, don't let it move. Don't let it pass. That's it. Stop it, Fluffy. Oh, it's getting away. And I really just want to chase after it, but I just know I'm going to scare it off. Oh, where's it going? I was going to the, the fashion shop. Right, it's gone round that side. I'm going to go round this side and try and trap it this way. I'm going to try and surprise it. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not going to not gonna startle it too much. I've got to get it. There's no way I can ignore this cat. Sorry, I know I said I was going to go play golf, but yeah, there's no way I could just let this cat pass. I have been waiting for so, so long. And oh, no, I scared. I think I made it, John. Oh, come back. Look, look, I'm friendly. Look, I'm like your brother. Look, I'm just like you. Oh, it's going ice skating. <laughs> this cat knows how to have fun. Come on. Come on, kitty cat. Look, fresh fish. If I throw one down, maybe it will smell it and then want to come and get some more. I slide some fish along the ice. He's not very interested, is he? He's just slowly running away from me. Like, what you're supposed to do is just get quite close uh, and then stand still and then apparently they come to you. But this cat, he doesn't seem to be particularly interested in me. Come and look. You can smell that. Smell some fresh fishy fish. It's just caught just today. It's the, it's the best fish in all of the land. Trust me. We'd have fun together. If you be my friend, we'll have fun together. Uh, I'll take you out on trips like I do with my dogs. And you can scare away the creepers for me. And I'll feed you a fish every single day. If you become my pet cat every single day, 
uh, at the beginning of the video, I'll go catch you a fresh fish, and uh, yeah, then, then you can then you can be very happy. I don't know where it's gone now. I'm really scared to, to make it jump again. Last time it sort of went round the corner, and I kind of scared it. I can see Lee going up behind it. Careful not to scare him. He seems to be very easily startled. Has he gone up here? Has he gone up to has he gone up to to the Googly's Hill up over in this direction? Uh, maybe he has. I think he's just, I think he's just scarped. He's a sneaky one. <laughs> Where did he get to? Is he, is he up over there? I think he's up over that way. Okay, Leo, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. We will catch this fish before the end of the video. I promise. And uh, if we don't, then, okay, sorry. I just broke a promise. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's made friends. Oh, he's found a cow. He's found a cow down there. Have they made friends? <laughs> I think there's a trapped cow down there. Maybe there's like a, a little hole where loads of my animals live together and they're good friends. Maybe that's the entrance to it there. What's he doing? He's kind of just, he's kind of just sitting there. Let me put down a, a torch so I can see what's going on down here. Come on, come on, fresh fish, fresh fish. I'm not sure if he can actually get round to where I am. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think he's coming. I think he's coming. I think he smelt the fish. Here we go. He's on his way to me. He's swimming to me. You never normally see cats swim. They normally hate water. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hop up. You can get out of there. Is there a way for him to get out? I think he's... I think he's got stuck on the block. Oh, go on. Go, go around to the other side. Oh, come on. Oh, don't run away. Don't give up now. Oh, don't swim away from me. I don't want to chat. Oh, there we go. Is he coming back? There we go. Just go to that block there and I give you the, the fresh fishy fish, okay? Oh, he looks just like me. He's got green eyes and he's got the, the yellow fur. Go and hop out of the water. I don't know if I can give him fish when he's in the water like that. <laughs> he seems to keep changing his mind. He keeps swimming to me, then swimming away. Uh, if I go down to here and go right here, actually what I might do uh, is build a, a little bit of a platform and then hopefully uh, he's going to be able to, to jump out the water and get the fish. Oh, don't swim away. Don't swim away. I've still got the fish here. Can, can you can you smell it from that far away? <laughs> I'm going to spend this entire video trying to get this one cat. I am not giving up. This cat is going to have my fish. Don't scare him, Lee. Don't, don't make him run away, please. Please keep your distance from him. I almost had him for a second. I almost had him. So please just keep your distance, Lee. If you scare him towards me, he's still going to be scared. Um, where's he going to go? <laughs> okay, shall I make a boat and try and try and feed him in the boat? Would that, would that work? Is that a possible thing that you can do? Okay, I might go and very quickly uh, go and try and grab a boat from here and see if I can see if I can tame him while he's in the water. I'm not sure if it lets you do that, uh, but I'm going to find out. I'm getting quite hungry myself here. Uh, this fish that I'm holding is starting to look uh, a little bit tempting. I might have a, a quick pork chop. And sorry, Barnaby, I think I've just left Barnaby completely by himself miles away somewhere else. Right, okay, let's go. Let's go get this uh, cat. I suppose I should start uh, thinking about possible names for the cat, I suppose. I've not really... Uh, oh, he's right here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare him. Oh, no, he's running away. Come on, look, fresh fish. Look, I'm not, I'm not, I don't mean to scare you. Oh, you need to, if I tried to give him now, he, he wouldn't want it. I need to wait for him to come to me. Oh, here we go. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, no, he's turning around again. <laughs> Every time I move, he just gets scared and back off again. Here we go. Here we go. He's coming. All right, let's see if I can tame him out in the middle of the water. This has got to be the most unconventional way to, time, uh, to tame an ocelot anywhere. Like, he kind of comes close, and then he sort of changes his mind and backs off. I think he's not very sure about me. I think he's probably never seen another cat this big, and he's a, a little bit worried about it. What I think I need to do uh, is wait for uh, him to get to land, and uh, then try and tame him. Oh, no, no, he's coming to me now. Is it going to work? Is it going to work with us in water? Let me try and very gradually approach him and uh, try and give him the fish. I, I am still moving quite slowly. Right, I'm pressing left trigger now. Is it going to let me tame him? He's not having any of it. No, I can't. I can't even try and tame him. I think I need to get him out of the uh, out of the water. We need to try and get him towards the land. We need to try and hurt him, Lee. Oh, don't push him under the water. Be careful. Don't get him near the boat. I don't want him to go underneath the boat. Right, okay. He seems to be heading towards my house. Uh, I'm going to go over to the land and hold the fish. Try and push him a little bit in my direction, Lee. And uh, yeah, we should be... Uh, we should be able to do this. I'm going to quickly uh, hop back in my boat just to make it a little bit quicker. And uh, yeah, then we can go and get out and I can try and tame him. Here we go. He's getting towards the land. Okay, stop scaring him now, Lee. If you, if you back off from him a bit, then hopefully uh, he's going to smell the fish and eventually uh, he's going to come to me and eat it. This, this will be worth it. Once I get my first cat, this will be worth it. Trust me. I know it's taken a while, uh, but I've been waiting for a cat for absolutely ages. As soon as they added them to the game, I wanted one straight away and I've had to wait so long uh, to find a wild one and I finally got one and it's probably uh, the most stubborn ocelot that has ever existed in Minecraft. Oh, but here we go. Oh, he thought about it. He keeps thinking about it. He keeps looking at me and considering and then for some reason uh, he just changes his mind. Is there anything that I've got on that might be scaring him? Do you reckon he's scared of my iron boots? Should I take my iron boots off? Well, I got some string. I could throw some string down. Cats like to play with string, don't they? Maybe that is going to work. <laughs> oh, I'm going to lose him again now. He's wandered off somewhere. I've lost him. Where are you? Where are you, kitty cat? 
Come on, come this way. Oh, where's he gone? Is he gone up round up to the top here somewhere? Can you see him anywhere? I'm just waiting to, to see his tail poking round the round the tree or something. Lee's there waiting very patiently down at the bottom. Oh god, I can see a creeper. I can see a creeper. That is not a cat. I do not want to turn him a keep, uh, creeper. That is not what I'm after. All right, let's take him out. I want to at least protect my cat. That is the uh, the good things about ocelots, though, uh, because they do scare away creepers. So that is one of the uh, the big reasons I want ones, because, yeah, I have lots of uh, trouble with googlies. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, he's run away. Oh, here he is. Oh, is he coming to me? Oh, I think I scared him away. I think he was just about to come to me. Then I I scared him away at the last minute. All right, let's take out that zombie down there before he goes after him. All right, here we go. We've got lots of uh, big open land here. Hopefully, right, he's going to come towards me. What you're supposed to do is get close to them and then just stand exactly still and then they come to you. But for some reason, this cat just simply isn't playing ball, which is surprising because uh, cats normally love playing ball, especially uh, if it's a ball of wool. All right, is he coming? No, he's still moving away. We're going to end up walking around my entire world at this rate. He's just taking me on a little tour. Maybe he's got a house somewhere. Maybe he's going to uh, try and take me back to his home. Oh, please don't go back in the water. I've only just about dried off from the last time. The problem is because there's all these googlies around, if I go and have to try and fight them, uh, that might scare him off. Uh, that would probably scare me if I saw a cat going after them. Oh, he's coming. Oh, no, we got scared again. I thought that was it. Every time he just turns around and starts walking to me, I get my hopes up. But then he just turns around and once again carries wandering off. <laughs> I guess we're just going to follow him. Let's just keep following him and uh, see where we're going to we're gonna end up getting to. <laughs> I suppose that uh, I very rarely go and show off like my world this far away from my house. So I suppose we can have a, a nice little bit of a tour. Uh, I've not built very much over here. Oh, look, I managed to, I managed to get a, a zombie coming after me. Why wouldn't the cat do that? See? <laughs> I suppose I'm not uh, doing much uh, good proof that I'm a good owner because every time a googly comes close to me, I just kill it and I don't want the uh, the cat to think that I'm going to do that to him. <laughs> oh well, let's just keep following him and uh, just see where we're going to end up. Come on, kitty cat. Come on, kitty cat. Oh, has he stopped? Has he stopped? Please don't go back in the water. I'm going to stand still. I'm just going to stand still and wait for him to come to me. He's not doing it though. He's not playing ball. I wonder why. It's weird that there's just one as well. You normally get like a, a few cats as well. So if one doesn't follow you, the other one does. And oh no, he's getting very close to the water again. <laughs> Look at that weird path that he's choosing to go. I don't think he's got anywhere else to go. Uh, apart from to come back to me. So if I wait about here, surely he's going to come to me. Oh, look, there's a wolf. There's a wild wolf over there as well. God, I've got loads of wild animals all the way around here. And a wild spider as well. How brilliant. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, hopefully the dog will scare him a bit. And so he won't go that way. And then he'll have to come to me. Oh, is he coming to me? No, he's going the other way. Oh, look, there's another wild wolf over there. See on that island? There's another wild wolf in the distance. He doesn't seem very scared of them. He's a, he's a pretty brave cat. I will get him. I promise you, I will get him by the end of the video. I have followed him for this long. There's no way I can just go and give up now. <laughs> if I just keep very slowly staying crouched following behind him, eventually uh, he's going to realise that I'm not going to hurt him. And then he's going to come and eat the tasty fish. And then, yeah, we can become new best kitty cat friends. Come on. Come on. Come on, kitty cat. I got fishy fish. Oh, is he coming? He's coming. Everyone quiet. Everyone stand still. Stand still, Lee. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, no, we got scared. And why is he getting scared again? I didn't even move. <laughs> I give you dressed up as a cat as well. He Lee's put on his uh, on his kitty cat costume just so, um, yeah, hopefully he's going to trust him a little bit more. I suppose seeing a, a big brown bre uh, bear coming up behind you might scare you a little bit. All right, here he is. Here he is. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. There's a creeper, but the cat should scare off the creeper. Oh, here we go. Can we get him? Can we get him? Can we get him? No, I ran out of fish. That was it. That was my chance. I need more fish, Lee. I can't believe that that was my chance to get him. How did he not have any of those fish? I have had no luck. Right, quick, get fish. Go fishing like crazy. There we go. Lee's got some more fish. Uh, I'm going to try and get one more. Okay, you keep getting fish, Lee. I'm going to go and try and tame him again. Right, hopefully uh, this is going to be a lucky fish and I'm going to be able to get him. I'm a little bit worried, though, uh, because there does seem to be a lot of googlies around here. Uh, be very careful when you come to give me fish, Lee. Stay crouched and don't scare him. Uh, I don't want to, to scare him off again. <laughs> See there, Lee? Fishing like crazy. I can't believe how close I was to getting him. He came up to me. He tried trusted me, but he didn't like any of my fish. I don't know what was wrong with them. They're the nicey, the nicest, tastiest fish in all of Stampy's lovely world. <laughs> right, hopefully uh, this fish is going to be lucky. I've only got one on me, so I'm pinning a lot of hopes on just this one fish. Maybe he is just trying to show me something. Maybe there's something over here that he wants me to see. Maybe there's a, a whole pack of uh, cats over in this direction, and maybe he's trying to take me to his house or something. 
who knows? Uh, it's very rare that I uh, venture this far away from my house, to be honest. I, I normally stay in my house or go to my fun land, so I really only uh, see, like, my fun land, my house, and then uh, the bit of land that's directly in between both of them. So it's kind of uh, weird for me to, to come all the way over here, to be honest. Right, okay, he stopped. He's looking off in the distance. This is this is my chance to go and try and tame him again. Hopefully, uh, Lee's managed to get some uh, some more fish. And leave me alone, Googly. <laughs> God, he took ages to burn. Right, here we go. He stopped. This is my chance. Be very careful, Lee, if you're bringing me fish. I don't want to scare him off. I'm pinning all of my hopes on this one fish. Come on, kitty cat. Come on, kitty cat. You did it before and I didn't hurt you. Okay, you didn't like any of my fish for some reason. I think the fish had probably gone rotten just because I spent so long trying to tame him. Those fish were probably just sitting in my pocket for ages and so they've gone uh, a little bit rotten and smelly. So <laughs> maybe the uh, yeah the cat wants a, a fresh fish. Well, honestly, I caught this fish about three minutes ago while Lee did and it's absolutely fresh and it's lovely. Was he going to come? Oh, please don't go back in the water again. Please don't go in the water. You're going to get all wet again. And then if you go in the water, I'm going to have to follow you. Then I'm going to get all wet again as well. And my fur is pretty much only just finished drying from last time. Okay, he's right at the end. I don't think he's going to go in the water, which means he's pretty much going to only go back in my direction. So if I just stay here under the tree and uh, look all friendly, if I do a big smile on my face, mm, big smile like that, hopefully uh, he's going to come in my direction. He's just looking off in the distance. I think he's just daydreaming. Yeah, look, he has nowhere else to go. He doesn't want to go off in the water. <laughs> he keeps thinking about it. He turns around to come in my direction. Then he changes his mind. I can see Lee there in the background sneaking up behind me. Okay, I'm going to very slowly edge ever so slightly closer. Literally tiny little baby steps. I can see my little feet there moving. Little tiny baby steps. I don't want to scare him. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's coming. Right, come on. Please, lucky fish. Please, lucky fish. Please, lucky fish. Please, lucky fish. No, it didn't work again. What are the chances? Is that seven fish? Okay, Lee, quick. Throw me more. Throw me more. How many more have we got? I think that's three more fish. Right, I got three more chances. Three more chances to tame the ocelot. Okay, stay back, Lee. Stay really far back. He's going to come to me again. If you keep uh, trying to fish to get some more, here we go. He's coming again. Right. Please, lucky fish. Please, lucky fish. Come on, kitty cat. Come on, kitty cat. Come on, kitty cat. No, once again, another free fish. And he still didn't get tamed. This has to be the most resilient cat there has ever been on Minecraft. Well, how many is that? Is that like nine fish or something now that I've tried to give it and it's not wanted? Right, here we go. I've managed to get one more. I managed to get one more. If you keep fishing, Lee, and to try and get as many as you can. As I said, I will get this cat before the end of the video. <laughs> I've got him trapped now. He has literally nowhere else to run. There's a squid in the water and I think he's scared of the squid. Come on, look. I got a nice fresh fish. I literally caught it just now. I prepared it for you. I put some seasoning on it. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely level, uh, lovely. Come on, please, kitty cat. Please, kitty cat. I can just see that Lee in the background still fishing away like crazy. Is he going to come towards me? Is he, there we go. It's when he bows his head down like that. Right, come on, please, lucky fish. Please, lucky fish. Please, lucky fish. Yes! Yes! Yes, I got a fish. I got a fish, Lee. I've got a, I got a cat even. I got a cat. <laughs> oh, my God. I got my first cat in Minecraft. Oh, and it's a black one as well. You can put on your black cat costume if you got one, Lee. Oh, that is amazing. It took absolutely ages, but I managed to get my first kitty cat. <laughs> oh, dear. That is incredible. Oh, I don't have a name for him yet, so what I'm going to do so I'm going to leave it up to you. Leave suggestions for a name in the comments and I'm going to go through them and then in a few videos time, once I've uh, decided what the best name is, I'm going to give that uh, the name uh, to the, the to the cat. So yeah, we can come up with a name together. I am so happy. Sorry that I spent absolutely ages trying to get it. Hopefully you weren't bored, but I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it just to eventually get my first cat inside of Stampy's lovely world. Thank you, Lee, uh, for all of your help. <laughs> uh, but that is just about the end of the video here. As I said, make sure uh, you check the link in the description to the download uh, if you want to download uh, my world as it is empty it looks slightly different uh, just because as i said there are a few like um uh, like jungles and uh, other biomes like swamps and that but apart from that uh, it is still just the same as my empty lovely world and yeah there will also be a link in the description uh, to the next part of this let's play uh, once it's online where um yeah maybe in my next episode we are actually going to go and do some golf like i said we were going to do here <laughs> that's it for this video here big thank you to you for watching and uh, for watching the entire week if you did and hopefully i'll see you in my next episode bye